This is the training video for the Humphrey Matrix 800 for visual field testing of the Baltimore City Glaucoma Screening Program organized by the Wilmer Eye Institute of Johns Hopkins University. Two staff members should pull the instrument from the case to make sure it isn't damaged. Lay the instrument on its side, being careful that the patient visor isn't in a position that will cause it to support the weight of the machine. Plug the approved power cord into the input receptacle on the instrument. Plug the clicker into the small round connector jack underneath the center of the instrument. Snap the keyboard tray gently into the dark gray base. Now it is time to assemble the chin rest with the keyboard tray, which will serve as the base of the instrument. Sweep the attached cord to the right side of the instrument, which is the side with the on-off switch. Then gently lift the instrument off of its side and place carefully into the base. Now insert the keyboard and mouse into the USB hub next to the network port. Before plugging the unit into an appropriate power outlet, make sure that the power switch located on the left operator side of the instrument is in the zero or off position. The system will boot up in about two minutes. A status bar will indicate the progress. At this booth, we're going to test how good your side vision is. This is the clicker that you're going to use during the test, and the test takes about two minutes per eye. This machine is going to show you some patterns that flicker or shimmer. Each time you see one of these patterns, just click the clicker button you have in your hand like this. Once you place your chin and forehead against the, the forehead rests, you're going to see the black box in the center and four triangles around the screen. There will also be some shimmering lights. You may pause the test at any time by pushing down the clicker button and holding. When you release the button, it will restart the test. You may blink any time during the test, and a good time to blink is when you press the button. So place your chin in the chin rest, the forehead against the top. Here's the button. It's right here at the top. Can you see the uh, black spot at the center of the screen? Yes. Okay, good. So just keep looking at that black spot at all times. Um, are you comfortable? Okay, we're going to begin the test right now. On the screen, select the 24-2-5 FDT screening under the super threshold. Select add patient. Enter the date of birth. Use only the month and year. For the day of birth, use the first of the month and then click enter. Enter the gender and patient name. Click the patient ID field and scan the patient ID. Make sure the test speed is set to slow and the fixation target is central. Reminder, patient can have their glasses on during the test. For the right eye, ask the patient to place their chin on the left side chin rest. For the left eye, ask the patient to place their chin on the right side chin rest. Adjust the chin rest with the knob at the base. Ask the patient if they see four triangular points around the circle. Make sure the patient's eye is inside the circle as displayed on the screen. Ask the patient to fixate on the black square. Tell the patient they will see a shimmering light and to click whenever they see one. Begin the test. Review the test results. If the patient misses a point, repeat the test. We're reviewing the results because we want to eliminate false positives. Make sure the data is backed up before turning it off. Safely shut down the instrument. Unplug the keyboard, mouse, and put the cap back on the lens. Carefully lay the instrument on its side to unplug the power cord and clicker. With two people, pick up the instrument and place it in the case. Issue one, patient is clicking the button too much. Pause the test, review the test instructions with the patient to only click when the shimmering pattern appears. Issue two, patient is uncomfortable during the test. You can pause the test and let the patient relax, encourage the patient to finish the test, allow for breaks if needed. Issue three, chairs too high or too low? 
Adjust the chair. The test is long. Make sure the patient is comfortable in their spot. Issue four. Patient has difficulty focusing. Pause the test, review the instructions, ask the patient to focus on the black dot in the center and click when the shimmering pattern appears. Issue five, patient moves during the test. Pause the test, reposition the patient and make sure the patient is comfortable and does not need a break.